Here's a really good geometry question that I ran into that I thought would be good practice on volume and area. It's a little tricky, so let's break this down together. We got a manufacturing company that produces cardboard boxes. The cardboard box has a cutout of a three by three square on each corner. Then they're gonna fold that up without a top. The volume of the box is 162 inch cubed from the given statement. What is the dimension of the original cardboard box before cutting out its square corners? The question is asking for the dimensions of this. And in order to find the dimensions of that, we need the value of X. Here's the game plan to find the value of X. I'm gonna need to use the volume for a rectangular prism formula, which is length times width times height. And that in the end is going to equal 162 inch cubed. If I take this rectangular prism and fold it up, it's going to look something like this. Don't make fun of my drawing. I'm gonna try my best to illustrate a rectangular prism. That's not that bad. If I fold this up on the dotted lines, the easiest one to identify is the height. It's gonna have a height of three units. Moving on to the length. The length of this is not 3x. That is not correct. That's because they're going to cut out three right here and three right here. So to represent the expression for my length, I'm just going to take 3x minus three minus three or 3x minus six. Similarly, we can write the expression for the width in the same manner. This whole thing is 2x plus two but I gotta subtract three and three twice because I'm ripping off those corners. And if I were to fold that up, the expression for your width is gonna be two X plus two minus six, which simplifies to two X minus four. Now that we got the three dimensions, all of that is going to equal 162. Do not be tempted to distribute this. That's just gonna make your numbers really large. So we can get rid of that right away since that's multiplication by dividing both sides by three. That's gonna cancel that out. So now I'm left with three X minus six times two X minus four equals 162 divided by three equals 54. If you look at this binomial, you can factor out a three, then you're gonna be left with X minus two. This one, you can factor out a two and you're left with X minus two once again equals 54. And since this is all multiplication right here, we can multiply these two values to get six. And once again, if I divide both sides by six, it's gonna make my numbers a lot smaller. That's gonna cancel this out. I'm left with X minus two times X minus two. 54 divided by six is nine. I'm gonna have to distribute this out. That's gonna be X squared minus four X plus four equals nine. And now I can subtract nine to both sides to get X squared minus four X minus five equals zero. Now I gotta factor this out. I'm just gonna write it right here because I ran out of space. Factoring that out, that's gonna factor into X minus five and X plus one. And finding the zeros, I will get X equals five and X equals negative one. Only one of these makes sense because if I plug in a negative one into this expression, I'm gonna get negative dimensions. So we're not gonna use that one. And the last thing that we gotta do here to find the dimensions, plug that in. It's gonna be three times five, which equals 15. You can plug it in on this one too if you want, but most of you can tell the answer. That's gonna be letter choice C. Hopefully this was a good review for you. And if it was, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.